That our water contains pesticides also is uncontested. Pesticide water pollution studies are being conducted by Dr. Paige Nicholson of the United States Public Health Service. We've learned that pesticides can be flushed off the land following intense thunder showers in sufficient quantities to destroy aquatic life. This is usually made obvious by floating dead fish in the vicinity. We've also learned that pesticides can be leached off the soil over considerable periods of time in sublethal quantities. This has uh, been observed more or less year-round in our study areas. Are we routinely ingesting pesticides in our drinking water? In some instances, yes. Well, have you found in drinking water any pesticide whose residue is not permitted on food crops because that residue is considered to be too toxic for human ingestion? We have found one insecticide belonging to the chlorinated hydrocarbon group. Are there any indications that there may be other pesticides in this class that are also in our water? There may be, but we've made no survey of the field to determine this. The Food and Drug Administration prohibits any pesticide residues in milk because milk may be the main diet of infants and, of course, be ingested every day. Does the Public Health Service have any regulations limiting pesticide residues in water? No, it does not. That in milk, one insecticide has been found occasionally also is a fact. George Larrick, Commissioner, United States Food and Drug Administration. There are, there are extremely minute traces of DDT found occasionally in, in milk, but those amounts are almost down to the infinite in, in the quantity. But we have never set a tolerance for DDT in milk, and our objective is to keep pesticides generally out of milk, which has a very special status in our food supply, as a food for babies.